Hello kids! Well, today's story is entitled Go Wash in the River. Little Maid was far, far from home. She worked for Captain and Lady Naaman. She washed dishes. She ran errands. Little Maid did everything Captain and Lady Naaman asked her to do, except one thing. One thing Little Maid did not do. Captain and Lady Naaman prayed to an idol, an ugly stone idol. The idol couldn't see, it couldn't hear. When Captain and Lady Naaman asked Little Maid to pray with them to the idol, Little Maid said, Oh no, I cannot pray to an idol. I pray to the God in heaven. He sees me and he hears me. One morning, when Little Maid took Lady Naaman her breakfast, Lady Naaman was crying. Why do you cry? asked Little Maid. Captain Naaman is sick. He has leprosy spots. The doctors cannot make him well. I know someone, said Little Maid. I know someone who can make Captain Naaman well. If he will go to the prophet at my home, far, far away, the prophet will know what to do to make him well. Lady Naaman told Captain Naaman what Little Maid said. I will go see the prophet, said Captain Naaman. I will take him presents. Captain Naaman rode in his best chariot. He drove his fastest horses. Men on horseback rode along behind the chariot. At the turn of the road, Captain Naaman waved goodbye to Lady Naaman. He waved goodbye to Little Maid. The prophet saw Captain Naaman and his men coming down the road. He had heard about Captain Naaman's sickness. He sent a man to meet him and tell him what to do. Tell Captain Naaman, said the prophet, to go wash in the river Jordan seven times and he will be well. Captain Naaman said to his man, Does the prophet think I am dirty? Does he think I need a bath? I will not wash in that muddy river. Captain Naaman was angry, very angry because the prophet told him to go wash in the river. I will go home, said Captain Naaman. Captain Naaman started home. The man on horseback rode up close beside him. They said to him, If the prophet had asked you to do some big thing, wouldn't you have done it? Why don't you do this little thing? Why don't you go wash in the river? Captain Naaman drove slower. At last, he turned off the road and drove down toward the river. The river was muddy, but Captain Naaman waded out into it. He dipped down under the water, then he looked at his hands and his arms. The leprosy spots were still there. Captain Naaman dipped under the water again, but the leprosy spots were still there. He dipped again. The spots were still there. His men on the river bank watched anxiously as he dipped again and again and again. But always the spots were there, and they were as large as ever. Captain Naaman dipped under the water the seventh and last time, 
and the spots? The spots were gone. Captain Ammon looked at his hands. He looked at his legs. He looked all over his body. But not a single spot could he find. The spots were all gone. He was well. His men clapped their hands and cheered. Captain Ammon ran splashing out of the river. He jumped into his chariot. He galloped his horses back to the prophet's house to tell him thank you. All of his men galloped along with him. Captain Ammon bowed low before the prophet and thanked him. He offered him the presents he had brought. But the prophet said, I cannot take the presents. I did not make you well. It was the God in heaven who made you well. Captain Ammon and his men hurried home. Lady Ammon and Little Maid were watching the road. Captain Ammon waved to them. He drove faster. When he came near, he shouted, I am well! I am well! And now, when Captain and Lady Naaman prayed, they didn't pray to the idol that couldn't see and couldn't hear. They prayed to the God in heaven, and Little Maid prayed with them. Thank you, God in heaven, prayed Captain Naaman. Thank you for making me well.